So here we are to start installation of Redis on Windows 11. So I've just written install Redis Windows Kit on Google Chrome and through Google server, I first found the link of this Git release. And whenever you go to this Git release, you'll find the latest window version for Redis, which can be installed easily. So either you can download zip file or you can install through MSI. So we have clicked on zip, but we are going to install through MSI. So here in this MSI, I'll click on this MSI automatically. It will provide me the steps to install this Redis. So I'll click on next, accept the agreement. I'll provide the path where the installation of Redis will happen. And 6379 is the default port, making it as it is. And if you want to set the memory size, then you can set it, but I'm not doing that for now. I'm just going to the next and finally click on install. Now everything is done and click on finish. So let me minimize this and let's go to the program file where my Redis has been installed. So in this path, you can see Redis has been installed. So Redis hyphen server and Redis hyphen CLI are the two main things. If I click on Redis hyphen server, then it will start the server and Redis hyphen CLI will open this command line. So in this, you can type set automatically. It will provide you what to write. So it is saying that type the key here. So I will type the key as name and the value as Sumit. And it will give me OK as it has been set. So when I've done get name, it provided me Sumit. Now let's go to see how the things are happening here. If I'm not using directly through here, if I'm directly going through the command prompt and run an administrator, and let me open in this half of the window and my command in left of the window. And if I do Redis hyphen server, it will not recognize. See, it is saying it is not recognized because it has not been set to the environment variables. So second thing, after installation, we should go to the properties, go to the advanced system setting. And after clicking on this advanced system setting, we will see to set environment variables and at the bottom right corner of that window and path is there. We need to provide the path of this Redis. So I'll click on new and here I'm going to provide the path which I have copied. So simply I will paste it here, program files hyphen Redis and click on OK. Then close this environment variable window and finally OK to set the path at environment variable. Now we need to check on the command line, but we need to restart this command line as of now. So let me open it. And if I'm typing again, Redis hyphen surfer, it will not again recognize because we need to restart that command line. So here in the Redis window, let me open it. And left side, let me open this Redis block. If I'm typing here Redis hyphen server, it will not recognize. So let me restart again this. So I've done exit. Now again, I'm starting. So this time it will load the home path and if we load the home path then it will recognize the redis server so if i'm typing redis hyphen server it will say that redis is starting and it has started so see it is saying that redis is starting in the first line itself through this we recognize that redis has started now everything will work on your command line itself no need to go to the redis folder so here in this command line in the CMD, I'm typing redis hyphen CLI to start the command line for redis. And it is saying that 6370 is the port and I've done ping and it's responded in pong. So it means the connection is set up. Now I will write set automatically. It will assign me the key to provide and value to provide. So I'll type here as name Sumit. It will say okay. And again, I'm going to assign set channel as play the one. So I will type in the place of key as channel and place of value as play the one. So name is Sumit and channel is play the one already assigned. So I'm going to get, get the key names. So get name provided me Sumit and get channel will provide me play the one because these two has been set in the Redis server. If I try to get all the keys which are associated with it, then I will type keys star and automatically it will give me all the keys which are currently in the Redis server. 
through this way we can install this redis 